Ciao mondo, hello world, hola mundo, hello mond, konnichiwa, ni hao. We are here in Vicenza today with one more cappuccino concerning COVID-19 outbreak and pandemic. In particular, we have sent uh, a letter to Lancet Respiratory Medicine and it was accepted uh, on our concern related to the transplantation procedures during COVID-19 pandemic. It has been demonstrated uh, by Lippi and Plebani in a publication that uh, the accuracy of the uh, PCR for testing positivity of uh, COVID-19 virus uh, may be limited. In fact, in a Chinese population, it seems that uh, there was a 40% uh, uh, false negative in uh, a wide cohort of patients tested for, uh, 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 for, for COVID-19 uh, uh, infection. This may represent a problem uh, both for the donor and the recipient. So in most cases, uh, uh, living related practices have been stopped or delayed. However, uh, cadaver transplant uh, is still ongoing in many centers and we would like to express concern because while, for example, uh, a direct broncholavage uh, uh, sampling can be made from the donor, this is not uh, a common practice in the recipient. Also, the very short time between uh, the information to the recipient that he should come to the hospital to receive a transplant does not allow an in-depth evaluation of the test. And furthermore, there is another issue, which is in times of COVID-19 outbreak, uh, in many hospitals, it may not be easy to develop a, completely, a complete uh, microbiologically safe pathway uh, for the uh, patient receiving transplant, uh, since uh, many of the ICU beds and many of the pathways may be occupied by COVID positive areas. Under these circumstances, uh, uh, we think there is not enough evidence uh, that we can provide a completely safe uh, procedure for uh, kidney transplantation. Thus, our suggestion is to consider case by case uh, and single patient should be evaluated, especially in light of the emergency and uh, urgent need of transplant in case of lack of vascular access, uh, no possibility to perform dialysis and, and so on. But all patients, every patient should be considered case by case, uh, carefully accounting for the a risk and benefit balance and under these circumstances I think we can only hope that the accuracy and quality of uh, our testing for uh, COVID infection may increase their sensitivity and accuracy but in between uh, we should strictly consider the transplant procedure as a high risk uh, procedure for the recipient uh, and every case should be carefully scrutinized. With this, uh, we invite you to read uh, in Lancet Respiratory Medicine our letter. And uh, with this, uh, we thank you very much for joining today, Cappuccino from Vicenza, Italy. Have a safe uh, and uh, possibly peaceful Easter week. Thank you. Excellent.